Part Two Crimson Flower Lone Moon Lady of Deceit After a narrow victory over the Knights of Saros at Garrig Mach, the Black Eagle Strike Force hopes to secure a route to Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. The time has finally come to invade the kingdom capital. Or so I declared. In truth, we'll be advancing to a different location. Only you and the rest of the Black Eagle Strike Force can know. Please bear that in mind. There is another location we must take before moving on to Ferdiad. South of the capital, there is a fortress city on the border of the Empire and the Kingdom. It is called Aryan Road, and we must take control of it at once. There are many mages within Aryan Road. We will also face Cornelia, a general of the Kingdom. We must also contend with Rodrigue, the head of House Fraldarius, as well as his troops. Once we defeat them, Aryan Road will be ours. I hear Cornelia has a suspicious magic weapon at her disposal. We must attack before the enemy can respond with defensive measures. That is why we are preparing an assault before even our allies are aware. Even within our ranks, there is no way to know with certainty that there is not a rat among us who would leak such information. When Aryan Road falls, we'll focus on striking Ferdiad from both the south and the east. The deeper we carve our way into kingdom and church territory, the more favorable our position. As ever, I'm counting on you, my teacher. Anything to grow stronger. Cornelia, I have a report from our scouts. The Imperial Army that departed from Gerig Mach en route to the capital now appears to be marching here. What did you just say? The speed of the army's movement quickens. They will be here to invade within days. I just sent some of my troops to support the capital. It is likely to be a fierce fight. How could this be? I have not heard a thing about... Oh, I understand now. I am the target. You? Are you sure they do not mean to take Aryan Road for strategic reasons? It would appear so from the outside. However, the circumstances are not that simple. And will you calm yourself? It will not be a fierce fight whatsoever. The sweet children I have prepared will protect Aryan Road well. Cornelia. Aryan Road is a fortress city that was built about 400 years ago. Originally a base on the front lines of the battle against the kingdom, it was built using imperial money and technology. However, the head of House Roe secretly planned to betray the Empire. As the fortress neared completion, it was rebuilt as a base to defend against the Empire. When the fortress was completed, House Roe declared its vassalage to the Kingdom. Since then, Aryan Road has never fallen. Not once. The beautiful white walls that protected against its enemies have earned it the nickname, the Silver Maiden. In the end, that is all it is to the Empire. The Silver Maiden stands as a bitter memory. We will now be destroying that memory. The past is the past. Now is now. A fortress that has never fallen. <laughs> I can't wait to make it fall. How savage of you. And yet, I must say I agree with the sentiment. Let us take the sturdy Aryan Road and continue our march against the kingdom. An invincible fortress? Sounds perfect. Unfortunately, it will soon no longer be invincible. The Silver Maiden's iron skin is about to be damaged. It's sad, really. Is it silver or iron? Use your language with clarity, please. Really, Lin, there must be a better way to say that. Since we are attacking a heavily guarded place, we must take extra care to prevent allies from getting injured. 
Thank you, everyone. I'm counting on all of you. Now, let's resume our advance. This battle is for the future of Fodlan. In order to secure a successful invasion of Ferdiad, Edelgard launches a raid on the fortress city of Arianrode, which occupies a key position on the border. At Arianrode, a mage serving House Blathed, named Cornelia, and the head of House Fraldarius, Rodrig, strengthen their defenses. This may be interesting.
How could they deceive me and close in on Aryan Road? But it's not like I'm just going to stand by and watch. I will slaughter them all. So this is the Silver Maiden. Seeing it with my own eyes, I finally understand its strength. Especially the fact that its strength is distributed across its frontal defenses. We'll attack the front and keep our enemy occupied, while the others enter by the East Gate. Titanus, my lovely dolls. Seek out the enemy and destroy them. And if the chance presents itself, I wouldn't mind being rid of those unsightly kingdom forces, too. Are those Cornelia's magical weapons? Impressive. I will prevail. Thanks. For the Empire. I am the King's Shield, devoted to protecting the Kingdom, as well as the King's Lance, who kills his foes. In the name of House Baldarius, I will defeat you all! So this is it. Your Majesty, please bring us victory. Father, I will fight in your stead. More fighting. What's my strategy? Ready for anything. Exploit their weak spot. Take all the strength I can get. Part of me has been waiting for this since I met you. No need for chit-chat. Come at me! Ah! I failed.
I'll cut a bloody path. Her will demands it. Understood. Put me in there. Sunshine. Imagine being defeated by me. Be more of these devices. <laughs> Only thorns left on this rose. I'm awake. We all choose our paths, and I've chosen mine. I fight for my lord, to the death. Let's keep up the pace. Traps awaiting us inside the castle. What a nuisance. But with such large-scale traps, there must be some sort of mechanism to control them. Translate to victory!
child's play. How you die here. Improvement enough, I suppose. Who's next? Get in line. Let's put this to the test. My stage now. Only thorns left on this rose. Welcome. I fully grasped this topic. For the Empire. Protect Aryan Road to the bitter end. This I have promised to my ancestors, to His Majesty, and to myself. Maybe I've become like him. Only possible outcome. 
They were sure to perish. Another skill only for battle. The traps have been disabled. It should be safe to advance now. Our goal is Cornelia. Let's make this an all-out assault. getting better with age. Shall I help? Fine, how about 
this. Another victory.
foolish. One day, the war will be over. Guest, let me take care of you. Allow me.
joke of a life drags on. I remain unconvinced that I am any use in battle. Oh, such a shame. I always thought we'd end up being good friends. But here you are as my enemy. The only thing left to do is kill you, right? So this is as far as I could get. Not my best. Uh -huh. All is in accordance with this carefully crafted script of ours. <laughs> what a masterpiece! What a delightful dance! Victory is ours! Arian Road has fallen! Another army will take control of Arian Road. As for us, we will take all of the military force we can muster and advance to the kingdom capital of Ferdiad. It won't be long before all of Fodlin is unified. Everyone, this is our last push. Our goal is within reach. What turn of events has brought you so suddenly to Garrig Mach, uncle? Well, my business in the old Alliance territory had roughly finished. I wanted to see the face of my niece, who so bravely took Aryan Road. I have heard that it was done with truly magnificent tact, and that you even deceived some of your allies. I'm happy to have earned your praise. However, to say that I deceived my allies is a bit misleading. I despise leaks of information, and there may have been a church rat hiding amongst our ranks. Ah, I see. However, there are some unfortunate consequences. Cornelia surely planned to betray them, but she has been struck down. Truly wasteful meddling. Unless... was it your intention to kill her? Indeed. We came only to kill our enemies. She used a terrible magic weapon. Dolls that she could move and fight with. Did you know about them? Well now, if that were the case, would it not have been better to keep her as an ally? If you are only capable of such imprudence, this dark cloud might hang over the Empire's future as well. Thank you for your concern. However, I will sweep aside any darkness that comes our way. I will be praying. Praying that the Empire will not become another Aryan Road. Another Aryan Road? Just what do you mean? <laughs> I must take my leave now. Farewell. Lady Edelgard, there you are. We just received some truly shocking news. It is said that pillars of light have rained from the heavens and disintegrated Aryan Road. Disintegrated? Why would he do that? Was Lord Arendelle just here? So that would mean... Hubert, give me the full report! Uh, my apologies. I, of all people, should be able to control my discomposure. The Pillars of Light descended and exploded, resulting in the complete destruction of the main building and the North Wall. It is believed that all key people within House Row, including its leader, were killed. Of the Imperial officers and men we kept at Arain Road, about a third are unaccounted for. It can't be true. So, this is my uncle's trump card. In exchange for striking down Cornelia, he has destroyed Aryan Road. Perhaps we acted too soon in our disposal of Cornelia. No, 
If we'll be fighting them soon, there's no disadvantage to weakening their forces. It's also extremely valuable that we force them to show their hand. Hubert, the investigation you made into the legend of ALL, the Valley of Torment. This is likely what took place back then as well. Yes. The probability is high. Yes, it is quite likely. North of Garigmach, there is a valley where the earth is always aflame. Once javelins of light fell from the sky there. He pierced the earth and set the forest to blaze, creating a land of torment. We believed it may have been the work of the goddess, but it was actually an attack by those who slither in the dark. That sums up all that we know. By gifting us that knowledge, those who died at Aryan Road will not have died in vain. Indeed, it would be good to control the flow of this information. True. We'll conceal this from everyone as best we can. I trust you, my teacher. I'm sure everyone has heard about what transpired at Aryan Road. The Church has displayed their cowardice by indiscriminately using forbidden practices to kill the residents there. Their victims also include members of House Rum, the Imperial Army, and many, many more. According to our investigation, the forbidden attack that destroyed Aryan Road cannot be used again so quickly. Even so, we cannot delay our efforts. We must put a stop to all of this by the end of next month. The leader of one of the Imperial factions has already initiated an attack on the Fraldarius territory lost by Rodrigue. Soon all obstacles blocking our path to Ferdiad will have vanished. A cornered animal is at its most deadly. We must move quickly. Next, we march through the Teen Plains. After that, we destroy Ferdiad. At that time, complete Imperial control over Fodlin will finally be a reality. <sighs> Oh, I'm shaking with excitement! Ring on the battle! I understand that a confrontation is inevitable. Still, I wonder if there's some path we could take that would cause less suffering. This is the only path for the goal we are reaching for. And so we must keep walking on it. We are walking down the path to a better tomorrow. A cornered church? Hmm. Well, count me out from any forbidden sorcery that can destroy whole cities. If only there was an easier way to get more information on crests and relics. You are as negative as usual, Linhart. We have but one order. To emerge victorious. We're going to win this. We really are. After all, if we lose, everything will be terrible forever. Oh, no way. We can't let that happen. There's a lot to worry about, but I'm sure it will all work out. We'll win no matter what. <laughs>